Good evening, everybody. Papa Sprout with Loma Acres Homestead. About a week ago, we did an inspection of our girls, and we were a little bit leery that something very, very important in there might be missing. Y'all remember what it is? The queen. However, I can't prove that at that point. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to go in and I'm going to check things out, and I'm going to make sure if I was right or if I was wrong. So follow along with me, and we'll see if we can find something out together. That tool's a bit active today. Oh, look at this. Alright, so at this point I want to twist everything because it's all hooked together in there. Oh my. Look at them. There's a lot of burr in there. Y'all saw me clean that out last week. I'm gonna have to clean it out again. Now, for all of you who are more experienced than me, if you ever run into this situation where they're building on top of the cone, right in here, and you scrape it off and they keep doing it. But at the same time, in this example, our several outer frames are barely seeing any activity on them. What do you do? Um, last year with one of mine, I only had the issue with one. And oh, they built up that one up a lot from the yeah, last time. Yeah, they built this one up a lot, and the back side of it's starting too. Okay, there's there she is. Hang on, I'm coming. Green dot, she's about top, almost at the very top. About a third of the way over from my left hand. Do you see her at the green dot? I can't really see her. Yeah, I see her, there she is. She's for those, active. For those watching on screen, so she's in there. And I would expect this frame here I would expect this. And she's out on that outer frame, so she's laying She's laying out there. Uh, I don't know about that. Why else would she be out there? Uh, well, let's get in a little farther and see. Now, because I know she's over here, I'm actually going to just push this back in close to tight. And I'm going to start on the other end. Because, dear God of all things, Crunch, a, crunch one of the girls if you must. But don't, don't crunch the queen. Don't crunch her. Don't crunch her highness. I mean, of course, it's never good to crunch any of the girls. Don't get wrong what I just said, but definitely don't crunch her highness because that's a about a month setback for the colony if that happens. Now, just a side note, the jar of feed you see there is another jar than what you saw us put on last week. Um, they went through one and almost another one. So they look like they're pulling out that frame too. Yep, a little bit. Not so, quite as much as on the opposite But side. it looks like she's evenly coming out. I'm trying to do this without crunching any more. Yeah, they've kind of moved a little bit since I went to grab that, so.
Uh, okay. I know you guys won't be able to see it. I am absolutely thrilled. There's there's larva in here. There's larva on the other side. Tilt it a little bit more towards me. This you way. See that bee butt sticking up? Yeah, I do. I'm just I'm just showing everybody. There's there, there's butt sticking up. Let's see if I can. I'm gonna kind of try to. There's one. They're putting in food there. She just backed out. See, I I've got a shot. You guys can see those little wiggling white spots there, folks. All of that. That's. That's what we want to see. Yeah, that's larva. So, with that, I don't have to go any farther in this inspection. We are happy. We are happy. Homestead what, high five. For real? Now, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to put the hive back. I'm going to put the hive back together the way it was. Remember, I told you on the last video. Uh, let me run over here and grab my smoke just to move some of these girls a little bit. Man, I don't think I've ever had this thing so active. I don't want to crunch them. They're doing their job and they're fanning, fanning all that smoke out of there. But I need them to move. Now, a lot of times when I have a frame out, you'll see me looking real close. You may be able to tell I will blow on it to move some of them because I really don't like to use smoke if I don't absolutely have to. But that's a lot of bees, and I'm not going to get down there and blow on that many of them or make them move. Try to move these back a little bit so I've got room. Remember, her royalness is down on this end. Now, she may not even be on the same frame she was on, but she's down there. So, you gotta be a little more cautious. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape all that comb off of there again, like you saw me do last week. Or I should say in the last video, because you may have just watched the last video two minutes ago. I'm going to move them off of there, a little bit of smoke across them, you see them moving, come on, they are like we are not moving, we cannot have our hard work. Now, what I am going to do, this, this one just happens to be in a good, good position that it doesn't matter what the best practice is. Last year I really debated on what to do. Um, in this situation, they're they're building up, and it's welding, or in this case, waxing the top to the hive. But in this case, I have enough of the hives frames down here filled out with the ladies, and um, I can safely put an extra brood box on there already. Now let me let me explain something. Last year when we were messing with these girls, well, it was different girls, obviously. It was three months I had them before I could put another brood box on. But that's the difference between a package and a nuke. Pause this. I'm going to finish taking this comb off. I was telling you that before I had to pause to get some more fuel for my smoker. Taking this comb off. Now last year, we had this problem where they were combing the top, and but they weren't going out. Now this hive has about eight of the frames already full, so it's not a big deal on this one for us to add a box. Last year they only our hive only had two, maybe three of the frames full, but that's all they would work on. They weren't expanding. So what I thought about doing, because the they work from the center out and then from the bottom up. So I thought about spreading the combed frames out, but instead I just put on a top box. And I don't know if that was okay or not, because neither one of my hives made it. The one that was doing really, really great, and then the one that was doing that was really weak the whole time. So I, don't, I can't compare it to anything. But this one, it doesn't matter. 
I have plenty of strength in the bottom one already, so I will be putting the extra box on tonight and lidding it up. Um, that said, I think we're going to end this video kind of short because you've seen everything I'm doing except the actual putting on of the box and it's not hard you just put it on so y'all thanks for watching we always would appreciate a thumbs up a share a comment definitely comment if you have some advice here um, and I know a dozen beekeepers will give me 15 opinions on what to do with this situation, and that's fine. But uh, we appreciate you watching. Y'all remember, this is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it, and pretty soon we'll be having some honey.